Do you eat junk food when you come home from the gym because you don't feel like cooking or it doesn't even have to be after the gym, after work, and you just wanna whip through some nasty fast food place, but you'd rather cook conveniently and quickly? This video is for you. What's going on guys, my name is Chris. I'm back with you with another unboxing and review video. This one's gonna be for the Musu air frying oven right here. I've already reviewed their dry and wet shop vac. Check out that video, it will be linked at the end of this video. But what I like about air fryers, Number one, you place it in, you pretty much set it and forget it unless you're flipping it over for some oddball reason. But for me, it's so convenient for meal prep. One thing that suffers in my diet is dinner. I come home, I just wanna nuke something up a little bit. But for meal prep, this is key because of how large it is. You can do a ton of chicken breasts, all sorts of good stuff, asparagus, meal prep it, reheat it in this or microwave, whatever you feel like you wanna do. So without further ado, let's get this out of the box. Let's see what we have. And of course, let's take it through some runs with some nice food. All right, let's get this thing out of the box here and see what we got here. We got some trays still inside the box. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is on the counter. We're looking good. Now, something to keep in mind, and this has a pretty large footprint on your countertop. So what you probably wanna do if you do not have the counter space like I do here, there is a Keurig over here for reference, toaster and KitchenAid over there in the corner. So this does have a large footprint. What I would personally do is have this in your pantry on a shelf and when you need to use it, bring it out and use it. So first and foremost, right off the bat, we have our rotisserie spit assembly right here. And these actually come off and they are adjustable with these little twist knobs here and that clips onto your chicken, whatever you're gonna get in there, and then that spins around inside. It has a little hook right in the middle, clips in right there, and then starts spinning there. Again, those are adjustable for the different size of poultry that you are gonna be using it for. All right, coming back up to top shelf, then we have our fetch rack right here, accessory. We have our baking pan right here, and a little word of the wise, you put a little piece of foil down there if you wanna have less cleanup afterwards. The easy stuff is the instruction manual and air fryer cookbook here. You also have your air fryer basket right here, and then you have your wire rack right here. So let's show you this. Let's take out the rotisserie spit assembly here, enter in our shelf here, and that can be adjusted to three different areas. There's one in the middle and one on top, as we can see there. You would probably most likely in all scenarios have it in the middle there. Of course, you can do toast, all sorts of stuff, reheat pizza, one-stop shop right here. Number two, I like the look of it. It's a very good looking appliance. You're getting a little shine off of it. It is gloss black and then matte black on top and on the sides. Again, all touch paneling right up here. You have your french fries, your toast, your pizza, all sorts of items here. You have a light, which is really cool right there. Let's see if it's dimmable. Nope, just on and off. Let's see if we hold it down. Nope, but cool nonetheless. You have your timer and your temperature here. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out and I'm gonna cook some chicken. So chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it right into my shelf there. And something that I do wanna show you, which I didn't even realize was there, that's why reading the directions is really nice, is our breadcrumb tray right here. Easily taking that out, dumping that in the trash can. That's of course if you're using this for your toaster, even if you forget to use foil and it drips down there, easy peasy cleanup. Without further ado, I'm gonna start cooking chicken because when I get home from the gym tonight, I'm gonna be starving and I'm gonna be ready to go. So the recipe book does come in handy, absolutely. There's some great air frying recipes in here to follow, desserts, appetizers, full on entrees, etc. But what I'm excited about the most, check this out. Let's go ahead and go on over here. I put a full bag of Trader Joe's chicken meat on that pan right there. That's absolutely fantastic. About, this is food prep 101. This would probably be about one meal, but these probably cut in two. Um, or let's see, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd say probably about six meals right here of chicken. One whole bag of Trader Joe's right up here. I put my foil down right there. We've shoved it in. It's in the middle shelving area to get nice and fully cooked in that bad boy. Now let's go ahead and look at our guide to see what we need to do. Again, one-stop shop. We got ourselves french fry, toast, pizza, 
defrost, air roast, rotisserie, air broil, and dehydrate right there. Fantastic. Okay, so now that I have my chicken in there, I don't want to do rotisserie because rotisserie is going to make it spin. What I want to do is I want to do air roast. I want to air roast this kind of, um, it's, uh, it's a little bit defrosted uh, chicken. Not fully though. What we want to do is air roast once again, which is down here. It's going to automatically set it to 450, 18 minutes. That might be for fresh chicken. So what we're going to do is just in case, we're going to go ahead and knock that down to 15. And then we're going to flip it and do another 15 and test it. So 450, 15. Now, once it does go, so once you have the desired temperature and time, you can also mess around with that if you want as well. Then you hit the on button, off button one more time, and you'll hear it very subtly kick on. If you want the light on, you can turn the light on. If you want the light off, turn the light off. Now you can actually adjust the temperature as well, even when it is going. And you also can mess around with the time if you want a little bit more. If you turn the light on, you're like, you know what? That's not really doing what I want it to do. Add a little bit, then add a little bit more time. So we're looking fantastic right there. We're gonna be back with you after 15 minutes and see how they look. And what's nice is the machine is actually pretty quiet. It's just humming along, not loud at all. So we got a couple minutes left on the first go around. I'm gonna get a little bit closer here and show you what we're looking like here. So the air frying right there, it looks like actually the light actually turns off after about 30 seconds maybe. Uh, that automatically turned off. So as you can see there, the golden brown, that's looking really deluxe, air frying the top of it to make it nice and crispy. You might have to play around with the temperature and the time frame of defrosted chicken, frozen chicken, especially so many pieces in there. We might need to trial and error it a few rounds. By the time you're on your third bag of chicken, second bag of chicken, you're gonna be a pro. If we have to, we're gonna flip it over, do it for 15, just turned off right there. It's beeping on us, it's now off. Let's pull it out, flip it over, see what they look like. Number one, the tray is gonna be hot, so obviously use a hot mitt. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the corner, not the foil. Let's bring it right over here. Now, obviously it looks absolutely stunning right here. But again, we are needing more cook time on the bottom. And what's nice is obviously chicken is very lean, but you do have some fat runoff. So obviously this is still raw right underneath here. So we're gonna go ahead and flip these, put it back in for 15. I might even pull it out a little bit sooner because this piece of chicken is a little bit smaller than some of these other breasts. And so let's flip that one around. See how that one is a lot more raw on the bottom. So is this one because those slices are a lot juicier and larger. So I'm gonna probably pull this one at minute nine and see what this one looks like. These ones might need to be flipped back over for two more minutes, back over for two more minutes. Again, play around with your time. Make this work for you, enjoy your food. So back in it goes, slides right back in, obviously. Back in, we're gonna go ahead and hit the on button again. We're gonna go ahead and again, hit our button down here. We're gonna again, knock this down to 15, 450, 15, and we're gonna turn it on. I might have to set a separate timer for nine minutes to pull that small one out. All right, my wonderful Amazon device let me know when my timer was done. And we're gonna go ahead and take out that small piece of chicken. Now, if you are noticing that the microphone level is a little bit different, it's because my microphone turned off accidentally, so I'm actually doing a voiceover right now for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out that chicken and actually the air fryer stayed on while I opened that door, which was really nice if you do wanna pull out a piece of chicken like I did, shut the door and it's ready to roll again. Now what you see me do here, what's nice is that the fat just accumulates on the top and I'm just scraping off the fat if you want it more lean. This is a great technique. It just literally boils up and just the fat literally just right there. Just shove it on the edge of the plate. Leave it on if you want. Now I'm cutting into the thickest portion of the chicken. I want to see it fully white. I want to see no pink. I want to see no slight pink. And it is looking absolutely fantastic. Now, this is boneless, skinless chicken, but see how it air fries on the top of it where it makes it act like a skin crispiness. And that's beautiful. Look how beautiful this piece of chicken is. See that top portion right there? See that? It looks like skin, but this is not skinned chicken. This is boneless, skinless chicken. So we're going to go ahead and cut this up now 
and we're going to go ahead and fire this up. Obviously, I'm doing a voiceover, but it is spot on. We do need to throw some salt on the top of it, but it is hot and it is delicious. And not to mention, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this right now. So the other pieces of chicken are wrapping up, but all I'm literally using on this, and I wasn't going to, I was just going to take a little taste test, but I literally just sprinkled some Himalayan pink sea salt on the top of this. Dynamite, no need for any sauces or anything. You have your air fryer cookbook right next to us right there. 100 recipes in that. Again, it's up to you if you like it really spicy or not, but it tasted absolutely fantastic. The end cuts were even crispier, obviously, because they were a little bit thinner, uh, nice and juicy in the center. So, guys, if you want to get your hands on this air fryer by Musu, look in the description box below. You're not going to be disappointed. But just like all my videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase on away. That link, once again, is below. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out, it helps the channel and subscribe guys i'm impressed with it it did a great job and i am looking forward to another piece of chicken after the gym tonight you guys take care we'll see you on the next video take care bye bye don't let the party stop guys hit one of these videos continue to watch we'll see you soon